G'day trendsetters and fair weathers, it's old Goose Rider here from Geraldine. So just a wee update on the man with the plan and the caravan. So I originally got the caravan to go and sit down by the side of the road and talk to the truckies, put the kettle on, have a coffee with them, have a talk about life and mental health and just whatever they wanted to talk about. And it was great. And it worked very, very well. And then I ended up doing three shows in October and November. And then I had a knee replacement. So I hadn't been doing a lot since uh, November because of the knee replacement. It's just been, you know, playing up. Then I got a team of people helping me out more and more and more. So we went out and did a lot more events. And it was great just talking to people, the feedback of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And, and just, uh, just the way I talk. But the biggest feedback was, is, you know, the way I talk, but also at shows and events, you know, talking to people at, at that grassroots level. So... I think I did about 15 events this year and that's you know a lot of it has been because of the help of the team of people behind me because the knee hasn't allowed me to drive the truck or the tractor like I used to be able to because I can't bend the knee properly so it's been really really good so as, as I've talked about in life the stepping stones of life um I had the wee plan with the man with the plan in the caravan did what I did and it was great then it got bigger and bigger going to more shows and events and some of the events is, you know, my driver coming with me and I was going down with the Suzuki and the caravan and my driver would take the truck and the trailer with the tractor on it and it was awesome. And they would get to an event and take everything out and set it up and it was great. And then there was a few events we'd uh, stayed away for a couple of days. So uh, I'd you know, always be nice and, you know, give the driver the, 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 the caravan to sleep in. And uh, I'd sleep out in the morning. It worked well. But then, you know, things got bigger and bigger with more events and more people wanting me to go places. And so a few wee developments have happened along the way. But one of the biggest things is, is you know, when I pack everything up into, into the caravan and go away, you know, there's not actually much room to sleep in it unless I take everything back out. So the Christchurch RV Centre has come on board as a big sponsor and they've sponsored me a 7 metre leisure line caravan. So as you can tell uh, just by looking at things, lounge area is a bit bigger, uh, kitchen area, TV, so if I was talking to four or five people or whatever and the stuff I want to do on the TV I can, you know, uh, Chromecast or whatever from my uh, tablet to the TV so everyone can see it. Um, but what you just see me put in the wee caravan is all hidden in this caravan, except those two things, because I don't fit in the cupboard. But the other big thing that this means by getting the uh, caravan sponsored by the Christchurch RV Centre is uh, I can get out to more events a whole lot easier because I don't have to pack stuff in and out. It's just like basically tow and go. Uh, like a Kenworth, it's tow and we're going to the workshop. Um, so, yeah, there's still, there's still a whole lot of stuff that, you know, we're, we're working through to the bigger picture to get out there to a ticky tour with the man in the plan in the caravan. But it has been a really, really awesome 12 months helping people out. Um, and just people come out and say, hey, Robbie, love lo love what you're doing, love the way you talk about it, but also getting out there at that grassroots level. So it has been a really, really uh, awesome 12 months. Um, you know, people buying the, the coffee mugs and the hats and that to um, to help me out uh, get to event to event. And now that I've written the book, um, that's also going to help uh, cover costs of getting to events. Um, but the feedback that I've been getting from people about the book is, uh, you know, we thought we had our lives fairly well you know, sorted. But upon reading the book, it's like, yeah, we've sort of had to sit back and uh, uh, have a bit of a you know, rethink sort of thing. So... Um, yeah, so as I said, you know, thank you to everyone that's uh, helped me over the last 12, 18 months sort of thing, uh, both you know, sponsorship-wise, uh, but also the team of people, and uh, especially Christchurch RV Centre, it has been really, really awesome. So, um, yeah, this has just made things you know, bigger and better. And, of course, you've seen me put everything in that other caravan. Um, it's all hidden in here, apart from, as I said, apart from these couple of things here. But I've actually still got, I've got more stuff in this caravan because I've got... Uh, sound system for indoors when I go out and talk to lions, young farmers, and those sort of groups. So it has got a lot, a lot bigger um, than what I ever thought it was going to. So, and that all comes down to the thanks from you know my, my team of helpers and uh, supporters and you know, sponsors along the way. So I just want to say a big thank you, and uh, I'm going to uh, carry on. 
Cheers, Robbie. Over. Yeah. Woohoo!